y'all, it's Kara here, otherwise known as Boho Berry, and I'm back with a new little video for you today. So, uh, I don't know if it was a couple of months ago or about a month ago, but this little uh, luxury item challenge started floating around the class of 2019 YouTube sphere. <laughs> YouTube sphere? Is that a thing? <laughs> This little challenge started floating around YouTube amongst the class of 2019 AT through hikers here on YouTube. And this was all started by Dan Becker. And Dan Becker is a really cool dude. I've been loving watching his channel, but he kind of posted a luxury items confession. Today I'm gonna to open up about what I've been hiding deep down. It's confession time. We're talking about my luxury items. And then he tagged four other YouTubers to hop on and share what their luxury items are for the trail or when they go on trail. So a luxury item to those of you who may not know is essentially an item that you don't really need to survive out on the trail, but it's something that you wanna have for your own comfort and that you're bringing along even though it's extra weight that you don't technically need to survive. So I was actually challenged by the next ridge and they are a really awesome couple. They're gonna be hiking the AT this year and they just shared their luxury items video yesterday and tagged me in it. All right, last but not least is Kara or Boho Berry, if that's how you pronounce that. Sorry if it's wrong. She's really new to backpacking, but she is preparing for a through hike this year. So we like to hear what sort of things you're planning on carrying that would be considered luxury items. So here I am sharing my shameful and not so shameful luxury items. So first things first, uh, obviously, if you know anything about me, I'm taking a journal and a pen. Now I did try to go kind of lightweight, but also a notebook and pen that I know and I'm comfortable with. So I have the Leuchtturm 1917. This is just a little pocket size A5 dot grid notebook. It has 187 pages, so plenty of room for me to probably uh, be able to have this throughout my whole hike. And then I'm bringing a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen in black. I love these pens. They're a felt tip, they're waterproof, acid-free, and archival. So really good pen. Love this notebook. The only downfall of this notebook is that it's very susceptible to damage if it gets wet. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful to keep this locked up nice and tight in a Ziploc. I'll probably double bag it if I'm being honest and then have this inside the liner of my pack as well. I do not wanna risk this getting wet. All right, uh, item number two, and I actually have four because, because I just bought one new luxury item that I can't wait to try out. I'm not sure if I'm taking it with me yet, but I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. Uh, but let's move on before we get to that top secret one. Uh, the obvious is my Thermarest Z seat. This is just a little pad, essentially. You can set it on a rock, on a log, anywhere you wanna sit down, not get your butt wet. I could put this out in the vestibule of my tent if I wanna set my pack out there and not have it on the ground. Um, so many uses for this little thing and it's super lightweight. I know a lot, a lot of people on the AT are carrying these this year. And I mean, yes, it's a luxury item, but I think it's such a handy and functional luxury item that it just kind of makes sense. All right, uh, next is my pillow. Now, I've seen a lot of people that are bringing pillows and I've seen a lot of people bringing the Sea to Summit Eros pillow, which I actually have one. Um, and it's very, very lightweight. I think it's less than two ounces or something like that. I'll, I'll put a correction here because I'm probably wrong. Um, but I ordered this pillow as well online. This is the Thermarest I don't know if it's called anything. It's just a compressible camp pillow by Thermarest. And it's filled with uh, little tiny pieces of like filling like memory foam type stuff. And it collapses down really, really tiny. It does weigh quite a bit more than the Eros, but it is super, super comfortable. Um, it compresses down pretty tiny into its own little pocket here at the end. Um, and I'm just, I need to be comfortable when I'm sleeping. It's very important to me to get a good night's rest so that I can function the next day. 
and I tested out the Eros pillow and I'm just not comfortable sleeping on it. So this is only a couple of ounces more. And for me just to have that comfort of knowing that I am going to get a good night's sleep, this is a really plush and comfortable pillow. Um, just knowing that I'm going to get that good night's sleep is worth that extra little weight to me. Okay. And last but not least, my new luxury item is this little guy. So this is actually by Jetboil and it is a French press and you're supposed to use it in the jet boil system and your lid kind of goes through this hole here and then your coffee grounds in the bottom of your cup pour in your hot water and then you can plunge down to have coffee and your french press uh, i do not have a jet boil system however due to some uh internet sleuthing <laughs> let's call it that um i was watching another youtuber sarah hikes new hampshire and she had mentioned that she has the Tokes uh, titanium 750 milliliter cook pot. And she also mentioned that one of her old jet boil lids actually fit on here. So I thought via deductive reasoning that perhaps if a jet boil lid fits on here, then maybe the jet boil French press fits in here. And I discovered much to my excitement and happiness that it does fit and it works perfectly. Um, so I do need to test this out. And I did actually order separately a jet boil lid to put on this when I'm making coffee. So this little bar here goes through the lid and then you can plunge and still have a lid on here to keep everything warm. Um, but yeah, little French press, it's super lightweight. Um, I don't remember the exact weight, but I'll be sure to put it on screen for you. Um, but yeah, handy little doodad. I'm going to test it out here over the next few weeks and see, um, how I like it and decide from there whether I'm going to take this or whether I'm going to suck it up and just have, uh, instant coffee and things like that on the trail. All right. So now it is my turn to tag some other YouTubers to see what their luxury items are on the trail. So this challenge has been going on for a little bit. So I know there's uh, almost everyone has been tagged already. So if I'm tagging someone who's already been tagged, I'm super sorry. They're just people I really want to see their gear. So my first is Yvette over at Radiate Joy. Uh, she posted her introduction a couple of weeks ago, something like that. She um, is brand new to the class of 2019. And I just loved her intro video so much. And I would love to see... Yvette, what are you bringing on the trail as luxury items? My second nominee is James Hikes. Uh, James Hikes is actually heading out, stepping out onto the AT today. He's actually doing the approach trail today, February 4th, and starting officially, I guess, tomorrow. But I watched his intro just the other day, and he has such an amazing story. If nothing else, y'all, definitely head to his channel and check out his introduction video. It kind of had me in tears a little bit. Seems like a really cool guy, and I really hope I get to see you out there, James. But I would absolutely love to see what luxury items you have brought with you on the trail. And I want to wish you super good luck um, on your first day today. The third YouTube vlogger that I would like to see your luxury items is Juliana Chauncey, also known as Chaunce. Uh, Chaunce actually hiked the PCT, I believe it was last year, and she's heading out on the AT this year. And I am super excited. I hope I get to see her out there. Uh, Chance, I would love to see your luxury items. Show us what you got, girl. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap it up. I do want to encourage you strongly, strongly, strongly to go check out these other channels if you haven't already. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And you can look out for my clothing uh, gear video coming out very, very soon. All right, y'all. Bye.